Hey guys, it's me, Spooky Noodles, and I've come with another book review. Sorry, there's like a piece of hair like floating on my nose somehow. Can't seem to get it off. If you guys see it, I'm so sorry. But uh, I've come with the review for The Howling. Yep, it's a good book. <laughs> the end. <laughs> no, this is by Gary Bardner, I think. Brander. Brandner. Gary Brandner. My bad. Anyways, it says on the back, a blood-chilling novel in the shocking tradition of Salem's Lot. I don't know about that, but uh, it's good. I really liked it a lot. Um, it's been a while since I've actually read this book, and I meant to do a review as soon as I finished, but... I didn't have time and then I moved on to other books and stuff like that. But I thought today while I was, you know, reviewing another book that I was doing, I thought why not I just take this book off the shelf and review it for you guys. So it's The Howling by Gary Brandner. Brandner. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I just don't know how, uh, any other way of saying it. So uh, let's just talk about this a terrifying tale of the occult. Shall we? Anyways, this book right here is quite good. It's much, much, much better than the movie. I will tell you that right now, I was not too impressed by the movie. The werewolf transformation was badass, but and when the werewolf was on scene, it was badass. But uh, overall, was not impressed by the movie. I enjoyed the book thoroughly and way, way, way more than I did uh, the movie, but uh, I digress. Oh, this was made by Fawcett and Gold Medal, or whatever. Um, mm, old book smell. <laughs> Anyways, um, this follows uh, what's her name, Karen. This follows Karen and her move to a new town. Um, she moves to a new town called, well, I can't remember the town's name right now, but after a rape incident where it was really graphic too, she was raped and um, if you're not into that stuff, I would probably stray away because it was pretty graphic, uh, the rape itself. But uh, she was raped and she needs to new a new scene, a new scenery, you know, a new place, a new adventure, a new life, you know. Uh, things are not good with uh, her husband because ever since she was raped, she just hasn't been the same. Like, you know, she's kind of distant in a sense. She tries her best, but uh, it's just the passion's not there anymore. It's and he wants it and she can't give it to him so anyways d later in the story he basically uh cheats and with a she-wolf but that's kind of spoiling things but uh you know what we do on this channel we spoil the shit out of things so i'm gonna probably spoil this so if you you know don't want to be spoiled i'd suggest go read the book and then watch the video and it's kind of too late now because I've already spoiled something for you, but I apologize. Uh, there's a bug flying around. Urgh. Um, this book met my expectations. You know, it actually exceeded. I heard about the movie and I figured it would be quite the same, but 
it packed more of a punch than the movie did, obviously, because I just said that earlier. I I like this book a lot, and I'd give it three and a half stars for sure. Maybe I can't say four, but I don't want to say three, so three and a half stars for sure. Um, I just there was this one scene. Uh, well, there's been a, there's a few scenes that I really I really that stuck with me, like. The scene where she finds her dog is pretty vivid to me in my brain. And when she finds out, spoiler alert, uh, when she finds out that uh, the whole town are is where, like, they're all werewolves, you know, she, uh, you know, she goes down to the city before she finds that out. And she's going for help, and she asks this sweet old lady for help, and she's like, sure. And then she goes in the back room and transforms into a wolf. So that was fucking cool. Um, but yeah, this book uh, was very good, very well written. And I suggest you pick it up if you're into creature features, because this is definitely a good creature feature. Like, I like the nest. I like the killer. Bats was fine. But this book, if you like creature if you're into creature features like I am, you're definitely going to enjoy this book because it features a creature. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. It was a quick one again. Um apologize for the quick reviews. Um I'm sure a book will come along where I need to talk to you guys about it. I'm reading two books at the moment and I, you know, I'll just share with you. I'm reading Abomination by Michael C. Norton and I'm reading Flashpoint by, uh, La Fontaine. I forget his first name at the moment. I feel like it's like, well, I got Gary on the mind because of this, so. Meow. Um, if you know that reference and, you know, you're a Spongebob fan. Um, but yeah, that was The Howling, and I hope you enjoyed. This has been another Spooky Noodles review, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.